Let's take a look at a new feature in the category chart that gives you the ability to auto group and auto summarize data with just a couple attributes in your code. First, what I did in App Builder here is I created an application with two charts. The top chart is bound to a web API called Autos API. This data rests in the cloud in an Azure SQL database. And then the bottom is the Northwind employees table, which is a built-in table that ships with App Builder for sample data. What the category does is it reads data in the order of the fields in your tables, and it tries to automatically plot text and numeric values that make sense. In this case, it found the first string value, which was the identity field, and then it found some other numeric value, probably salary or something else that's in these data sets. But of course, this isn't a very useful chart. So what we wanna do is use some of these new features in the generated code. So I went ahead and I selected Blazor Server, I downloaded this zip file, and I have the code here in Visual Studio. So if I run this demo, you'll see that it's the same view that we had inside of the App Builder. It doesn't really make sense. It's not really useful. So there's three properties that I wanna set on each chart. You'll note here that I have my category chart, which is bound to the autos data, auto API data. And if we look at the auto API data, you can see the fields that are available. What we're gonna use is the country field, which is down here, and we're gonna use the salary field. Same goes for the Northwind database. So we've got the Northwind orders. And in this case, we're gonna use ship name and we are going to use the freight fee for that ship name. So back in our Razor page, let's go ahead and update our code. So the first thing that we wanna do is set the initial groups property. Initial groups will basically do a group by if you were using the grid. And in this case, I wanna group by the country. Then I want to set the initial summaries. With summaries, you have the ability to use in the built-in min, max, average, count, etc. functions that are in the chart. So in this case, what I want to do is I want to use average, and I want to use the average of salary, and I want to set the average of salary as average salary. Now, the other thing that we're going to do here is the chart will automatically parse the as based on your camel casing and use that in the tooltip and you can reference it in other parts of the chart. And then finally, the last thing that we wanna do is set the group sorts. So with group sorts, we're gonna tell the chart how we want it to sort. We could sort it by the initial group, be it country, or we can sort it by average salary. So in this case, I wanna sort by average salary in ascending order. So that's all I need to do. Now I'm gonna run this again and we will see the difference in the chart. And just like that, you can see that the chart renders beautifully. I have my average salary by country. You can see my tool tip. The other thing we've done here is we have the value annotation in the Y axis. And then also you'll notice that the X axis labels for the country wouldn't fit if they were displayed horizontally. So another feature that we added in 22.2 is the ability for the chart to use some intelligence on how it will render the label. So it'll render them in a 45 degree angle, a 90 degree angle, or of course, straight horizontal. There's also some other nice features like an animation when the chart initially loads and just a few more nice features with the way we render rounded corners, the fonts, etc. So let's go ahead and fix this bottom chart now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and copy what we did here, initial groups, initial summaries, and group sorts, and we're gonna use it on the North Wind table. So in this case, what we wanna do is let's clean this up a little bit, and I'm gonna tell this to be ship name and ship name is the name of the shipper. Then of course we said we wanted to do this by freight. So let's do the average freight like so. And I wanna do average freight again, and we'll do this in ascending order. So just like that, with a few properties, we're taking something that's not useful and we're making it really useful. So this is a great new feature in 22.2. 
We hope you enjoy it and you can see that with a couple attributes on my component. We have beautiful looking charts that are fast to render and they make sense for when you're doing that data analysis.